How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits and today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundown Growers. I was telling you guys it was going to visit the 70 cent range. Many of you disagree with me, many of you called me crazy, many of you said, hey Dre, you don't even know what you're talking about. I really have nothing to say. But of course, we gotta jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, then I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is the recent update in regards to SNDL. We know they've been making investments and they do have a joint venture going on with the SAF group, which is Sunstream. So I'm going to give you guys that update. And then secondly, we're going to be doing a technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. You guys are going to be seeing through my lens as how as far as how I look at stocks. Of course, if you've been on my channel for quite some time, you're already aware of that and you're already making money like we see in the comments when people say, yo, Dre, your analysis is crazy. How are you able to find out what the price is going to be looking like? And then Secondly, we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know, are institutions actually loading up? I think this is very key here because if institutions are loading up, then it can give you some confidence also in regards of buying shares. But at the same time, if you're looking to get into swings and you want to make sure you're paying the right price, then of course, it's very helpful for that as well. And then when all of that is done, we'll be jumping into the final thoughts. So let's get to it. So let's go over the recent update in regards to the Sundial Growers. Let's see it. So Clever Leaf closes 25 million financing from Sunstream. So Clever Leaves Company, a multinational operator and licensed producer of pharmaceutical grade cannabinoids, today announces the closing of a 25 million financing from Catalina LP, Sunstream, an affiliate of Sunstream Bank Corp Inc., a joint venture initiative sponsored by Sundial Growers and the repayment of the outstanding principal amount of the secured convertible notes due March 30th, 2022. So taking this into consideration, we already know Sundial is like, hey, you know what? They want to make strategic investments. And in this case, I like it. The matter of the fact is, though, we want to see a little bit more from SNDL. As far as how far this is going to actually pay off for them, hey, yes, it can. But at the same time, will it have a big impact in regards to the balance sheet on them making money off loans and so forth? Not so much unless they end up getting a really big deal in regards they can end up making more money off of that. But that's just one of the things I want you guys to be aware of. So now let's jump into the technicals. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. Let's see how it performed on the day. So we ended up closing at 80 cents, being down 0.39%. On the low, it tested 78 cents, and then on the high, testing 82 cents. When we take a look at the volume, stats on the day you can see it traded at 109.998 million shares and as far as for the average volume over 10 trading days it's 98.389 million so we had above average volume today so that was something that was good to see but of course we had a good amount of selling pressure part of the reasons why we ended up finishing down now when we take a look at the indicators on our chart we're using the one year daily chart here you could see as far as for the RSI it's at 38.76 so it is in the oversold territory when we take a look at the indicators now on the chart you can see here we are below the 100 day the 21 day EMA and as well as the 200 day so taking everything into consideration I was telling you guys SNDL will be going back into that 70 cent range and this is an area where you'd want to look at in regards to adding shares we ended up testing 78 and then we came back going into the 80s so if you the opportunity to take advantage of this dip my hats off to you we saw this happening a long time ago there was also mention talking about SNDL has been fairly consistent riding on the 200 day and that is definitely true but as you can see in this particular case ended up breaking through it and it was bound to happen this has happened in the past as well when it rides a 200 day back here when it got to around 64 cents so as far as what I'm looking like especially for the rest of this week and also going into tomorrow if we see strength inside of the markets then of course we can see SNDL continue to hold up this 80 cent range if we do not see any strength whatsoever we'll be testing back into the 70s and we will pull back even further below 78 cents 
And these are one of the things I want you guys to be aware of because these are opportunities where I would consider adding to a position, right? And I told you guys, I'm going in for the mid to low 70s. Wait for it to go to 70s and I'm gonna stick to that. And what I'm gonna be doing when it decides to make that reversal and start going on a bullish trend when it passes the 21 day EMA here at 89 cents, that's my swing trade exit. If you wanna get into this play, then highly suggest, especially long term, wait for it to pull back a little, take advantage of that so you can maximize your profits and take advantage when it runs up above $1. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SNDL. So we could see here on the inflow, we had 28, and on the outflow, we had 26. We had zero on the large for both. We had 17 on the medium for inflow and 11 on the small. As far as for the medium side, we had 16. And as far as for small, we had 10 all for outflows. So it was great to see that we had an inflow day. I also did call this out in my YouTube post earlier today as well. And the reason being is, I'm gonna to get to it. So the large scale orders in the last five days still remains to be at zero, which is July the 19th, which is today. But the last time we actually had some sort of activity was on July the 16th or Friday, which we covered, which we had an outflow of 626.89. So taking this into consideration, I was saying, hey, institutions are definitely trying to feel out this stock right now. They're not going to be taking any large scale orders whatsoever. We already know that retail investors pretty much own the float for SNDL. So taking that into consideration, they're not gonna be buying up shares, especially in large quantities, when it's at the prices of where it's at. They're only gonna be buying shares when it's in that 70 cent range. And that's exactly what I saw earlier today. When it got down to 78, you start seeing those large spikes as far as the volume is concerned. And the reason being is, because that's when they are buying. So I wanna make sure you guys get into the habit of paying attention to things like this. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundown Growers, hey, I'm definitely gonna to continue to keep this stock on my watch list. You guys already know as far as buying ranges are concerned, I love it in the 70 cent range. And that's also another reason why I like to load up there because I wanna take advantage of swing trades. Secondly, it was great to see the update that they had from Sunstream. We already know this is like their investment vehicle another way where they can make some money off of putting loans out there. But at the same time, of course, if they want to continue to go down this route, we want to see continued strength, continued deals coming through the pipeline. Also, we do know as far as it is in the cannabis sector, there's a lot of catalysts to actually look forward to. And it's part of the reasons why I love it for swing trade opportunities. Another thing, when we last checked on Fintel, as far as for the short interest information, we saw the short volume ratio was well around 40%. It is double what we look for in regards to short squeeze potential. So taking all of this into consideration, yes, you can look forward to seeing spikes in SNDL. But for anyone who's looking to go long, especially if you believe in the long-term prospects, then of course, I would continue to be patient and only add when it's in those 70 cent ranges. And if it gets even below that, like I was saying in the technicals, even going into the 60s, I would load up even more. But at the same time, one thing I want you guys to be aware of is do not get fooled with all the FUD that you see out there as well. There's a lot of articles coming out that, oh, SNDL is too expensive or blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, you need to do your own homework and your own due diligence so you could have the right game plan and the right strategy that works best for you. If you have a high cost average in SNDL, but you also do believe in the company, hey, use these opportunities to actually average down. Especially when that bill goes through on the federal level, you already know, rising tides float all boats, SNDL be able to benefit from this because with that buying pressure, of course, we can force a potential short squeeze. And that's one thing I want you guys to be aware of. And also, I want to let you guys know, I am not a psychic. I am not looking for praise. I am not looking for accolades. But one of the reasons why I got show you guys order flows and I give you guys the ranges of where prices can actually pull back to, because we got to start thinking like institutions. We want to get deals. Stop buying on the high. Focus on buying on those lows. We saw where the 200 day is. Hey, we know that it tends to bounce off of it, but also at the same time, we've also seen it break through it. So when it does break through it, that's when we decide to pounce only if you feel like doing so, because of course, this is not financial advice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.